Please give it up for your next contestant, contestant number 11. Give it up for Ricky Mulvey. Nice to come out, buddy, Bob. So, uh, as you guys can probably tell, I am uh, ethnically ambiguous, uh, which is really nice because I can tell white girls that I'm foreign and the police that I'm not. Um, they'll stop me on a Sunday morning. Oh, where are you going? I'll be like, oh, uh, uh, brunch. They'll be like, okay, boy. I mean, I didn't mean that. Uh, get your eggs better, You'll be all right. Uh, I went to a Kanye West concert a couple weeks ago uh, with a random man from Craigslist. Hold your applause. Um, which was, uh, it got a little bizarre when he called me right before the concert and he goes, uh, hey Ricky, I know you have cash on you, bad start, and I don't, and I'm looking for a place to park, would you mind, like, uh, you'll pay for your ticket, I'll have cash to park, and then you'll just get in the car, we'll find a spot, and then go in the show. I almost said yes, uh, but then I realized if I died in that manner, then no one would ever feel bad for me, and my ego couldn't take that. Um, after the show, it got really weird because he was like, hey, it's a long ride back to Cincinnati. No, uh, it's hotel rooms up here, really expensive. No, and he goes, I gave you that ticket really cheap. And if you ever want to get a crowd's attention real quick, lock eyes with someone and just say, you can't guilt trip me into letting you murder me. It's a great attention grabber. Uh, I go to Ohio State University, I'm in college, which is uh, pretty difficult. When you're illiterate, <laughs> shit, I thought that was going to work better. I'm sorry, sorry guys. Just be quick. I promise. Okay. Cool. Right. These are just shapes. <laughs> some of you aren't laughing. That's okay. There's some really distracting squiggly lines behind me. <laughs> Y'all thought I couldn't hold a character. All these pages are blank. Oh. Who's laughing now? Not many of you at that closing of the joke. <laughs>